Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time each week, we take something that we do in agriculture or talk about in agriculture and try to relate it to even non-farmers. Well, today the topic is, what are biological and natural products? Well, there are a lot of things that fall into this category, and I'll start with the things that most folks think of when they hear the term biologicals or even naturals. It's the little tiny microbes, the fungi and the bacteria that are out in the environment, and it's just finding the quote unquote good guys that can help your crop and the ones that you want to see more of in the environment. Well, here's the way I look at it, setting aside microbes. It's just anything that is natural, anything that already exists in the environment somewhere, finding that, taking it and using it in our crops at the right timing, at the right stages, in the right fields, and then getting some benefit out of that. There is a big push around the world to ban synthetic pesticides. So even some of the largest ag chemical companies in the world are pouring billions of dollars into this research in biological and natural alternatives, just trying to find things out there somewhere around the world that already exist that they can take and use in our crops. Well, those beneficial microbes like I was talking about before are found around the root system and they can help our root systems explore a greater volume of soil. They can work symbiotically with the root systems to bring nutrients into the plant. They're really a good thing. And, and you look at soil itself, you have to think about soil as a living, breathing organism, that there are literally billions of living things in a handful of soil. So if we can take more of some of those living things, put them in close proximity to our seed or our root system, we can see some nice benefits. So these different microbes, that is a big portion of when you think about biological products and when we talk about them as farmers and agronomists. But I also kind of lump a bunch of other things into this category, like plant growth hormones. I think about things that can increase root size, just biostimulants, amino acids, humics and fulvics. There are a lot of different things that would fall under that category. And we're only scratching the surface here because there are so many things in nature we don't fully understand yet. So we've got just little pieces of nature that we do understand and with modern science and modern agriculture, we're able to combine some of those things together in these products we call naturals or biologicals to help our crop in a friendly way to the environment. Darren and I do spend a lot of time talking about biologicals and natural products to farmers. But we just wanted to share this with you today. If you're a non-farmer, just so you understand, in our industry, there are a lot of things out there that can get used in organic production. They are natural to our environment, and we're gonna see more of those things in the future. It's pretty exciting. Well, hopefully we find some things out in nature that can stop our weed of the week. We'll show you how to control this tough weed later in the show. <music> 